I hope you're still on your healing journey, your self-improvement journey. If you're on your healing journey, that would mean you're on your self-improvement journey. When you're on your self-improvement journey, it's hard to maintain contact with people that are stagnant. You want to be around people that are either doing better than you or are on are also on their own self-improvement journey. So you can both kind of relate to one another. Like you both people who are working hard to get to the next level in your careers. You're both people that are working on your health. You know, you're, both, you're, get, you're in the gym, you're taking classes, you're getting your personal trainers you're eating good food, you're maybe working on your finances, trying to save up, trying to find ways like side hustles or learn new skills to maybe improve your finances, whatever it may be. But when you're on your self-improvement journey, you're on your healing journey, you tend to relate better with people that are doing better than you or are on the same level. Why do I say that? Well, when you're on your self-improvement journey, what you're going to find is a lot of hatred from, from people that are not doing much. Like they're just literally stuck in their sick, psych, cyclical behavior patterns and they see you as some kind of a threat or some kind of a, I don't know, it's like you, ref you remind them that they're not doing the best and, you know, people, you know, they have their own free will. They're able to start their own self-improvement journey, but it takes hard work. It takes self-reflection. It takes, you know, looking at your your shadow work, looking at your childhood wounds, looking at your addictions, looking at your carnal desires, working out what why you're having these things, you know, maybe getting a therapist, maybe speaking to a counsellor, maybe journaling, all of these things are part of the journey. And it's very difficult. And what I like to remind everyone is that if you go on a streak of doing all those things and then you fall back into maybe going out and meeting people, hooking up with people, alcoholism, substances, whatever it may be, I just want you to just always come back to this path and keep on this healing journey and path and if you want you can call start calling it even the warrior's lifestyle you get up you have some sort of spiritual practice like it could be with physical activity like yoga it could be meditation it could be prayer which is so powerful um showing gratitude and then you go out to your your gym or you go to your job and then after that you come back and then you rest just you know have a re relaxing a moment maybe have a bath maybe play some of music you like dancing to yourself maybe some reading watching something that you enjoy it may be your time that you go to train or to gym or whatever it may be but you'll find that as you start picking up momentum you start enjoying the, the challenges the difficult things the gyms the you know trying to learn a language trying to learn a, an instrument you know trying to maybe teach people some skill that you may have but going off topic you will be disliked by many people you will be disliked and one thing that i would would advise and that's what i'm going to name the video is when you're on this journey it's a good idea to start your own youtube channel like start a channel start making these videos you know like pay it forward to the next person who may be at the beginning of their journey or on the same path as you the main reason why i say that the youtube or the channel that you that you create the posting of videos to me it's like journaling it's kind of like speaking to a counselor or speaking my mind and also it's the fact that we are so much we are so different so much different to everyone else like if you're if your soul like if you're 
you know, so in human form, like energy, like a person who's resonating, vibrating on a higher frequency, you'll find that there are not many of us around. Like they might be like, you know, like your town is like just literally you like you can't relate to people. You're literally just hated. You are rejected like you're a prophet, you know, like Jesus had to leave his hometown you can't stay in your town and think people are going to like you that's that's where they're going to stone you that's where they're going to sabotage you ruin your reputation trick you do all these things against you so you won't have anyone to turn to your family will be doing the same thing they'll be gaslighting you making you think that you're not this thing but when you're on your healing journey if you give yourself time to heal you will start seeing the things that you can see that you're not the same as other people. Like you're able to do certain things, the way that your mind works and the way that you're able to show compassion for others, empathy for others. You're able to, you know, walk in this world and be the light in this world when this world we're, told, we're surrounded by total and utter darkness. I just got in from the gym just now, a moment ago. When I got in from that place, from the gym, there was a couple, a young lady, and they were black, but we had, like they were looking like me. And the funny thing is, we want to get away from race or talk or gender or religion or whatever. Like we have to transcend all these labels and see ourselves as just this ray of light. But sometimes it is about the race. It is about you know, that's not what this, what my channel's about. It's welcome to everyone. But I have to say this is, I find that because of the history, I don't want to go into the history now. There's a lot of self-hate. There's a lot of people of the black race who want to challenge or, or get into altercations with each other for no reason. And it's just because of the history, because of um, the transatlantic slave trade and some of the practices there that has scarred us and left a lot of trauma in our DNA, which just gets passed down. And um, this couple, they were just talking to each other and the lady kept looking over at me and like laughing in my face or whatever. There's a whole room of people, but she targeted me like she was drawn to me to look at me and to start laughing and I wasn't even really doing exercise at this present time you know that I've, I've done exercises that can be seen a bit funny so I wouldn't actually be upset or or think anything if people were laughing at me doing these strange exercises which they perceive as strange I would be just like yeah you know it's, it is funny it's fine you do what you want but she was an energy vampire, like just the way she was looking at me and just like, I could tell she, she's she got no reflection. So she wanted a reaction out of, out of me. The thing about our type of, of people who vibrate in higher is that because of a lot of our childhood um, trauma, we tend to have this kind of innate sixth sense so when they say that if you're an empath you can feel other people's emotions you, you can sometimes be drawn to the negative like the one there's a you can also be drawn to to pick up on the negative person that's giving you bad vibe so sometimes it's a skill to, like i actually gave her no response which is the perfect no supply so I just literally just didn't give her but I, I had to, it wasn't my n most natural response like as empaths were we are quite over it's to do with our empathy like we think a lot we overthink things and we always want to make everyone feel comfortable we want to explain ourselves or why is she this person doing this or why are they doing that but we have to train ourselves to not get into these egoic stirrings to not allow other people to project their own insecurities onto us what they when they are in a room a lot of these energy vampires they're a, they're able to pick people that they think can give them a reflection and it can be sometimes opposite attract them being very low vibrational and us being high vibrational they would tend to want us 
to feed them because our supply is is more potent like it's like a, it's like a more of a care like a very like rich supply to them like say if it was food we're like a big four five course meal and then people who don't care will be less supply so we have to actually not respond or give them conf give confusion or just don't give them any response but yeah i'm sure i mean maybe you can speak into the comments about if you have these kind of um day-to-day -day interactions with people where you feel like you're always on the on the receiving end of some kind of energetic exchange with people like stares or people are talking about you or laughing at you or trying to get you to react to them but the key is to not react not to give them what they want and not to do what's expected just kind of like pause maybe like think for a few seconds before you respond a lot of times you don't need to respond because people are actually just talking to themselves but they want to do it they want to do it through you so don't allow them don't um give them the opportunity just literally just ignore most of the time just ignore like they say uh, respond but don't absorb but if you respond sometimes it can lead to things not going the right way and it can escalate and a lot of the time it's not even worth it it's not worth getting into those things and i found that you know a lot of people who are not happy they're not really making making strides in their own life in many factors whether that be money or health or whatever and they tend to try to attack people who they see have have a glow have a nice positive energy positive aura so yeah ignore them but making a youtube channel is a good idea to document and journal your experiences and you can also compare so if, you know maybe six months or a year two years down the line you can look back at these months and see how far you've come so you've documented it you've created something that you've done and you can look back at oh i was there then now i'm so different like i've gone through certain challenges i don't even i've now know how to handle those scenarios better I've, i'm in a better place in my life i've made strides i've gone up a level here there there so there are good ways to to make a, a landmark a document of of where you are right now and i just wanted to share that with you so yeah just hope that you're healthy hope that you're on your healing path healing journey hope that you'll consider the message of this video and think about starting your own channel and i would say when i first started with these i was very uncomfortable with filming them and when I was watching other people's videos, I don't think I would be making videos. So that being said, if you think that you, you could never do it, just try and make one. It does get easier. Making the videos get easier. You, you start to enjoy it. It's a nice ha um, positive habit to have. So you could just swap out this with maybe with a, with a negative habit or and realize that there are other people experiencing the exact same thing as you even though you don't know them personally or they're not in the same area or space as you there are people who you know have this great purpose on their life have are having challenges because they you know you know are known to god before they're born they're known to the most high they're known to a divine power they're known to source and because of that you have all these people trying to distinguish you no know, extinguish your light to extinguish your energy just to drag you down to their to their demonic state remember you know satan he fools people that he doesn't exist and also he doesn't trouble people who's already got he tends to tr work through people to attack or to follow people who are are the opposite or not that he hasn't got hold of or, or slow down you from doing like your purpose or finding that path that has been set out for you so keep going keep going rebuke these devils in the name of jesus
rebuke them. You are blessed and you are protected.